Wow, and last did I film a video without makeup? Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I am discussing some of my favorite vegan baking hacks that I've discovered. When people find out I'm vegan, the first thing they always say to me is, oh my goodness, I could never do that. But the first question they always ask me is, but isn't it really expensive? And it can be, because some nice people out there have gone and created a whole bunch of substitutes for things that you use in normal, non-vegan cooking and baking. So there are things like egg beaters, you can get vegan butter, you can get vegan milks, obviously. And those things are great as substitutes if you don't want to particularly change the way that you've been cooking, if you want to be able to just go to your fridge, reach for your butter and be like, cool, I'm sorted. But I do have my reservations about that kind of stuff. They are often loaded with some unsavory things that I don't want going into my body. I like being healthy, but I also like junk food. So if I'm eating healthy, I want to eat as healthy as possible so that when I want Oreos or when I want to eat demolish like a 200 gram slab of Aero Dark, I don't feel bad about all the crap that I'm putting into my body. So I try and eat as wholefully as possible with like whole foods, real natural ingredients, and those are the kind of things that I'm going to be mostly sharing with you guys today. So as I said, there are these things called egg beaters, which you can use in cakes and other things that you use eggs for. But what I like to use is bananas. You can use bananas on a one-to-one -one ratio with eggs, at least that's what I do. It's so good, guys. It makes it really moist, which is an awful word, I know, but it works in the context of talking about cake. It does add a lot of sweetness as well, which means that if you're trying to cut down on your processed sugar, Get intake then you can probably reduce the amount of sugar that the recipe calls for as well which I think is always a plus and just really rich and oh it's amazing the only thing is it does leave quite a strong taste of banana so when I've made it with chocolate cake in a cup it does kind of leave you feeling like you're having a chocolate banana cake which I have no problem with but other people might have a problem with if that's the case you can use applesauce to replace the egg you can use a tablespoon of applesauce to replace one egg and this also doesn't have to be expensive. It can get expensive if you're buying it from the store. Go to one of those like wholesale fruit and veg shops. Try and find some apples that are kind of turning bad so you can get them for cheap. And go home, cook them up, puree them in your blender, and you've got homemade applesauce. You can keep it in the freezer in like single portions for when you need it. It was really cheap. It doesn't have any added sugar or nasties and you can use it to replace eggs in your baking. Another way to replace eggs is using what's called a chia egg, which is basically just chia seeds mixed with water. I use a teaspoon of chia seeds in about three tablespoons of water, let that form like a nice thick jelly consistency, and then use that to replace my eggs. Unlike the banana and the applesauce, it doesn't give that like rich texture, but it helps to bind stuff together the way eggs does. It also doesn't add any sweetness, it doesn't add any banana or apple flavour which might appeal to you. So chia seeds also work really well. Chia seeds can work out quite expensive, but it's also important to remember that though they be little, they are potent. And although a bag of chia seeds that size is probably going to set you back like 80 rand, at any given time you're probably only going to be using a teaspoon of them, at most maybe a tablespoon. Although chia seeds are expensive, they usually last in my house for a good few months and I have a teaspoon of chia seeds in my oats like almost every day so they really they are expensive but they really go a long way so in terms of cost per use they work out quite cost effective you can also make that egg substitute with flaxseed I just don't like flaxseed so I haven't tried this chia seeds don't really have any taste so I'm fine with putting them in cakes and things but I find that flaxseed has a very, very strong taste and I can't stand it. It makes me feel very nauseous. I'm putting my tea all over my hands. So I haven't tried flax eggs myself, but a lot of people have. A lot of people really like them. I think they're particularly good for like breads and things. So you can try that. Again, a teaspoon of flax seeds mixed with water until it forms a gel. Apparently it works really well for people. On to butter. As I said, you can get vegan butters, you can get vegan margarines, and if you ever looked at the ingredients, you'll know that they're pretty rank. <laughs> like, the stuff that's in them is kind of disgusting, and if you've ever seen margarine go off, it, it kind of puts you off eating it for life. You don't want to be loading your cakes and biscuits with that. What I've discovered is amazing is using avocado instead of butter. And this, again, I use on a one-to-one -one basis, however many grams of butter it calls for, I use that much avocado. I made biscuits like this once, it was so cool, they were green, and they were really yummy. And obviously avocado, aside from being healthier than butter, is just a really good food for you to eat. It's, got, it's good fat, it keeps you really full, so even though you're gonna be eating sweet treats, be made with healthy things so you can justify eating more and more and more of them. 
And my last hack is not actually a strictly vegan one. Well, none of these have been strictly vegan. You can use all of these if you're just trying to be a little bit healthier because it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that even if you don't think eggs are bad for you, that a banana is going to be better for you. So whether you're vegan or not, I mean, you can apply any of these hacks in your baking or cooking just to cut down on your usage of animal products and therefore the amount of cholesterol you're allowing into your body. But yeah, this last one is not a specifically vegan hack just because it's not replacing something that's non-vegan but it is just a way that you can make your baking a little bit healthier and it's a very vegan product and that is using chickpeas instead of flour. I love chickpeas, we always have chickpeas in the house and I once made chickpea brownies! So basically instead of using your normal bleached white flour, obviously you can use other flours like tapioca and potato flour and xanthan gum and all that kind of stuff. Seriously, who has money for that? That stuff is so expensive. So instead of that, use a 10 rand tin of chickpeas to replace a cup of flour and your gold. Brownies I made were quite bitter, so I would recommend if you're gonna go the chickpea flour route to maybe add a little more sugar into your recipe. Although, if you're gonna do something like brownies or a cake, the recipe is probably gonna call for egg, so then replace it with a banana, some applesauce, and you're going to replace that sweetness anyway. It gives it a slightly different consistency, but they're still really yummy. If you're concerned about the effects of eating bleached white powder, you've replaced them. And even if you're not concerned about the effects of flour, like chickpeas are just so, so incredibly good for you. So you should be putting them in everything, especially if you can hide them and feed them to your kids. So those are six baking hacks that I've discovered since going vegan. Those are my favorite ones. I think that they all just like work like a dream except for the flaxseed because I'm not 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 big on the flaxseed. Oh another one I forgot is if you are doing something where you only need like a spoon of butter you can just use coconut oil. I know it's oil so it's not great but pure organic cold pressed coconut oil is still a lot better for you than you know vegan margarine that's had the oil gone run through like it five million processes to get it to be that consistency. So butter, replace on a one-to-one -one basis again with coconut oil. Let me know if you've tried any of these, if they've worked for you. Also let me know what your vegan baking hacks are because I'm always looking for more ones. I really like baking but it can be difficult to find kind of regular vegan recipes that don't call for, you know, shavings of unicorn horn. So most of the time I try to adapt regular recipes and make them vegan because I find that it's just a lot simpler and a lot less money involved. So yeah, let me know your favourite vegan hacks so that I can try those out, make my life a bit e easier. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all again very soon. Bye!